and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books and it's a seasonal, seasonal favourites video today. I used to do these favourites videos every month um, and I decided to sort of knock them down to sort of every, well originally I was going to do them every other month but I've sort of been doing them seasonally now. I found when I was doing my favourites videos on the monthly I was looking for things that were my favourites which although is a nice thing to do, the things weren't truly my favourites. So these things, they're truly my favourites. Um, and the first thing I'll start with, although I must mention this glass is called, um, first because um, David says I look like a cute little librarian. A cute little librarian. I am. Um, these glasses. I, I think it's because they're getting. I need a new pair. Look how wide they are, David. <laughs> <laughs> so they often, and I mean often, fall off my face. So, and I'd seen that glasses chains were sort of back in vogue let's say and i ordered a rainbow beaded one well the rainbow beaded one didn't turn up this yellow one turned up i actually quite like the yellow one um and uh yeah my, my sister says i look like a nan down a social club <laughs> do you get a nan down a social club vibe from me here david <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway it's not one of my favorites yet i'm still it's still growing on me but i do enjoy a sort of like little bit more fun colour. Um, but one of my favourites is, is this jumpsuit here that I got from Jodie Clothing. I've got two of them. I've got this here pink one and I've got a green one. I was just thinking, I'm not even sure I've got a picture of me in the green one. If I have, I'll insert it here. I might just have a headshot of me in it. But if so, I'll still insert it because it's a lovely colour. But yeah, I bought these from Joni Clothing. You know how much I love Joni Clothing. It's an on land, on land? online um, clothing uh, brand that make... Um, clothes that have sort of like literary slogan t-shirts and jumpers everything's really really well made and i literally wear the things to absolute death which i really really like because i don't often buy new clothes and when i do i want to be able to wear them loads which is exactly what i've been doing with this here pink jumpsuit and my green jumpsuit although i have just noticed <laughs> this one's got a stain on it i think that's from my pizza at lunchtime maybe i'll move my pin badge from here right onto the stain i can't see it now because my eyes have gone mad so that we won't know that there's a uh, stain because my eyes will be just be drawn to that the whole time otherwise looks a bit off center doesn't it but hey that's what's going i can't i've got to move it back i can't move it back i've just got to stop looking at uh my stain put that back in this is a very cute little pin bad actually it's from um i got it from paper gang it says creative juice on it because I like creative juice. Um, so yeah, so these were £50 pounds, um, from Joni and I actually had, I think it was like a 20% off weekend so I managed to get this for £40 pounds, and then the green one for £40. Pounds. It's made of very comfortable, stretchy denim um, and I've, been, I've, I've got them, I've had them maybe like two or three months and when it was colder earlier on in the year which actually it's still quite cold now um i was wearing long sleeve tops underneath them i've just got really bad deja vu so i don't know if i've mentioned these jumpsuits already how embarrassing if i have i haven't been back and watched my favorites video but yeah so i've been wearing long sleeve tops underneath them and now it's warming up a bit she says it's been raining for four days straight um, i've been wearing them without them but yeah i really like the length of them i really like this tie around the waist i love this 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 whole zip reminds me very sort of like 90s but also maybe quite 70s um and yeah i've worn a jumper over the tops uh, over the tops and then had my collar out and i've just i've just been very very much enjoying them and as i said i've absolutely worn them to death and will continue to do so um i don't know how i'm going to fashion them I don't know if they'd go with boots i don't think they would i've worn them with trainers so i know i can get a lot of wear out of them so yeah these things i've been enjoying um I'll just show you the other thing I've physically got here to show you before I move on to other bits. You, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have known that recently I was talking about how bad my skin had been recently. Um, so towards the end of la last year, I got the Carolyn Hyron skincare book and got really, really into my skincare, double cleansing every night, SPF, everything, and everything was going wonderfully. My skin was looking better than it had done in years. And then earlier this year, it just went to absolute shit. And I don't know what, because I hadn't changed anything, unless like the formula had changed in products that I'd been wearing. But my skin was just so bad. Now I, I have got makeup on today so you, you can still see that I have got spots beneath my skin but nowhere near as angry or as painful as they were before it might just be that it's gone down for a bit but I have been using this toner water from Lush um, which is called tea tree water um, and I just spray this on after I've had a shower or after I've been in the bath basically whenever I've taken my makeup off because um, I've really pared down my um, skincare to try and isolate what it was that was causing it but still haven't worked it out really so I've just been using ultra bland to take my makeup off um but yeah i've been using tea tree water so this is like 
sort of when I was younger the things that you used to put on spots were tea tree so it smells sort of like spot defying and that's the only sort of like spot reducing product I've bought into my skincare routine. So I basically just spray it on, spritz it on. 10 sprays I do um, and it smells lovely. And yeah, it just, I, I hope it's what it has done it, but it definitely makes my skin feel quite clean. It's strange, isn't it, that all my spots are here. Like I very, very rarely get spots there. Like sometimes I'll get them around my nose. When I was younger, I always used to have quite a pimply forehead um, and around my nose. I don't often get them on my chin. I used to get them around my chin and my mouth. I, I had them on my neck for a while, but yeah, it just seems to be really, really here and here at the moment, which is unusual. And I was thinking about like phones and stuff, but I very rarely actually speak. I've got a headset for speaking on the phone at work now. And like, yeah, I don't really speak on the phone that much. So like that would make sense if it was just there, but. I don't know. Anyway, I think this has been helping. So that has been a favourite just because it makes my skin feel nice and clean. Um, and then I guess we'll talk about telly. So David and I are a bit in a, a telly hinterland at the moment. I don't know if hinterland's the right word, but like we've just got nothing we're really into at the moment. We're desperately awaiting the second series of Ted Lasso to start, but we have watched two really good telly programmes. Um, since the last favourites video I made. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Great British Menu, which was quite some time ago, um, but I believe it's all still on BBC iPlayer. We only came about Great British Menu because there was a Christmas special on the run up to Christmas last year, but these are um, chefs that are that own restaurants and are head chefs at restaurants, and they are, um, they are competing to have a dish at a Buff, a, a special banquet um, that's going to be going ahead. This this what this one that we watched is for um, to celebrate uh, engineering, um, and there is a theme, and all your dishes have to be based on like um, oh, I've only seen the one one show, so this particular one was engineers and things from the place that you're from. So you have to make a starter with that, and it might be about this, and it might be about the light bulb being invented or you're doing a uh, you're doing a main and it's based on that and it's just creativity meets food which i love meets andy oliver who i also love um oh actually andy oliver has a uh, a glasses chain maybe i'm taking inspiration from her um and uh yeah it's just great great show and david and i got so into it and it really got us swept up and really like involved and we love watching it and love talking about it afterwards and david's family are really into it so we'd really talk to them about it afterwards and they had different chefs that would come on um they called them veteran chefs that had competed it this is this program has been going on for like 15 years um and they'd have those chefs that have competed in the past come on and judge and oh my god just so much good and one of the things i really loved about this show is that there was a plant-based chef on one week which i really really enjoyed seeing and the fact that that person was doing a fish course but a plant-based fish course and things like that um yeah we just really really enjoyed it and if you like food shows and i really would recommend it and as i said it's all on um I play. We're, we're desperate for last year. There's a there's a children's book. So every year there's a different theme. Um, and as I said, this this year's themes was engineering and inventors. There was a children's book themed like series which we need to watch as well. But they've taken all of the past series off of. Um, off of iPlayer. I wonder if they're on um, BritBox, if it's worth getting a free trial of BritBox and giving that a go, if they're on there. If they're on BritBox, let me know. Um, so yeah, so that's the first telly show that we really enjoyed. And then also we really enjoyed Mayor of East Town, which is on Sky. Um, and this is a crime, um, a crime series uh, which stars Kate Winslet and she is a uh, police investigator and she lives in quite a small town she's got a very very complex um, family life she's not with her uh, she's got um, a daughter um, and she had a son who is no longer alive and she doesn't uh, she's not with the husband of uh, the, her husband who was the father of these children she's not with them anymore but he lives very close by with his new family and his new uh, fiance and she's got a best friend it's, it's all very interlinked it's sort of like small town stuff and in the first episode um, a, a young mother um, is found dead in a um, in the river um, near where they live and the investigation looks into that. Now, the reason we got into watching this is because we saw a clip of it on Gogglebox, which is quite often where David and I get a lot of our TV recommendations from. However, the clip we saw on Gogglebox was a major, major plot point that happens like towards the end of the series. So we went into the series knowing that this thing was gonna happen, although David said that he'd sort of forgotten about it. Um, and uh, yeah, so if, 
I mean, that episode of Gogglebox was about two months ago, so you're probably not going to come across that anymore. But yeah, um, that's how we came across it. But great acting. Kate Winslet is flawless in it she is absolutely she's so she's such a good actor she's just so good and yeah the tension was just up here it kept us guessing right till the end just when we thought we knew what was happening it wasn't happening and yeah we just there's just so much you just felt very very involved with it and we really really enjoyed that and we literally watched that over the course of like two or three days had an absolute blast watching it uh, we've also had a little rearrange of the furniture it won't feel fresh now because this I've been sitting filming videos here for quite some time now but this is our summer setup so we have the um the sofa here uh facing this way normally we have it against the, in the winter we have it against the wall and i move my yellow chair into the bay window which is quite nice to read in because you get a good bit of light and things like that so that was nice to sort of change around and also i got myself a few bits of wall art actually strangely talking about this creative juice this links in because these two new bits of wall art here um I bought them following um, getting a paper gang box. So I talked about my paper gang box, which is a um, uh, stationary subscription where you get a little box. In fact, I can show you this month's two seconds. You get a box sent to you in the post like this, um, which has a whole host of um, stationery in it. And every month it's a different sort of artist. Um, this month it is Kiara Le uh, Leroy. Um, and I got in this month, I got these, I'm so excited to put these onto a t-shirt. So I got two patches, one that says keep going and one that says be nice. I've got a feeling I've shown this already in my wrap up. I've got a lovely little pair of scissors, which is so helpful because I've never got sharp scissors. They'll be very good for making pom-poms. Um, I've got two little pads of notes. I've got a, and a pencil with different color on there. And then a little notebook with squares. So yeah, so I get one of those every, um, every month. Although I do, I do tend to gift it out to people as well. So um, you pay for it in chunks of three months, and um, yeah, I gift it out to people as well. Like I think, oh, those people would really like it. Um, so yeah, but one month was Amy Hastings. It was the month that I got this Creative Juices um, badge, and I loved her artwork instantly like I was very inspired to do a bit of drawing afterwards because I just love this so much bright colors um and just sort of like bold drawings as you can see here started following her on Instagram instantly and visited her Etsy shop quite often and I ended up buying these two prints plus another print I think they were three for 60 pounds um so yeah the other one I've got is sort of like she does a bit of a sort of tarot card um thing as well and the one that I've got is the lovers so I want to get another one of those so that I can if I swap these out because I do like to swap these out as the year goes by and um, but yeah 100% happy juice says this and this says shine bright and is a pack of matches I just love how bright they are and they're just so fun and also because um we got them during when it was still hardcore lockdown since um people have been sort of coming back into the the house a bit my sister's been round my friend Emma's been round um they've been like oh they're new so I keep forgetting that they're new because they just fit in so well with the colours and everything do you like them David what's that these yeah I think they're really cool I really yeah. like them what do you like about them uh, I like the colours uh, I like what they say. We like things with smiley faces on it, so that's got a little heart with a smiley face on. So yeah, we're going to enjoy that. I just that. think like what the like the juice box is really cool. And they just fit in, don't yeah, they? They do. They, they feel like they've all our, been, like, always been quirky here. Quirky bits of art and Come all a bit of our like, like, colours. Yeah. So we've been very much enjoying those. Oh, something I did want to show you is my new teacup. Um, I absolutely do need to show you. So I'm going to stop this here. Go and make myself a cup of tea. You make yourself a cup of tea too, and then come back and show you my exciting tea cup be right back tea made but before i get onto my cup i've just remembered something as i was making tea so another favorite of mine has been that my milkman because we get our milk delivered because it's in glass recyclable bottles now delivers oat milk in glass recyclable bottles um i started drinking oat milk i'd always been sort of like a fan of oat milk but i cut back on dairy thinking maybe that was what was causing me the spots and um, as a result I now have oat milk in my tea, not in this tea I'm about to have because that's just an infusion um, and I've been using uh, dairy free butter and things like that um, and yeah I was delighted to find that we can now get it with these glass bottles and um, I don't know what the what brand of oat milk this is that goes into these bottles but it's bloody delicious. It's lovely with cereal um, and really nice in the uh, in the old uh, tea. So yeah, if you're with Milk and More in the UK, then uh, give it a go, guys. 
put that there hopefully it'll be all right but yeah the actual teacup i was talking about so this is a hashtag ad because uh this was sent to me kindly by bird and blend you'll know that bird and blend uh previously bluebird tea were they called bluebird tea bluebird tea the, the new name has taken over so much that I just know them as Bird and Blend. Um, they have been kind enough to, in the past, send me um, advent calendars, tea advent calendars. I've always been a big fan of theirs and bought tea from there, um, particularly their shop in Tunbridge Wells. Um, but they contacted me at the beginning of the summer and said, oh, we'd love to send you some um, some summery tea bits. Would you, would you like to receive them? I was like, I would absolutely love to receive them. So I got a few bits of few um pots of tea um some rhubarb and custard tea bags and things like that and also this which i now know is called a gravity tea diffuser so into this pot when i got it i thought it was just a cup that you drank out of you put your tea in there so this is just loose leaf uh, this is the tea that they sent me ginger beer tea which is delicious fill it up so i normally fill it up to the 12 ounce one but it does go a bit to the top and i think as i'm going to be filming i might be a bit all over the place um and uh, yeah then you get your cup of tea you put this on top and it drains it all the way down to the bottom and then you've got a lovely cup of tea no leaves in there no loose leaves or anything oh my god it does smell lovely so yeah amazing and not much drippage as well like there always is a little bit of drippage but not much drippage i could probably get a little bit more out of there actually there we go such a simple invention I actually just bought one for my father for his birthday so yeah I'm not gonna drink this yet because it'll be too hot, so I'll put it down there. And the last two things, one of them is, is a sort of like favorite in terms of the support and love and everything that you guys gave me because m recently I made a video called um, My Painful Period and I did a video diary of um, a period. You will know that I have very painful periods. Um, again, if you see me on Instagram, I'm always going on about my painful periods and like, I just feel like it's almost like a personality trait of mine now, just me wanging on about my periods. Um, so I did a video diary of it to sort of show you how bad they can be um, and filmed it. And then within that video, me and David had a little chat about um, things that you can use when you're on your period and pain relief and the prices of sanitary products and things like that. And the, the response from that video was just so wonderful and everyone just got so involved and we've down to just being like, I'm here in support of you. I have really painful periods to like oh have you tried this or have you asked your doctor about this to people commenting on how supportive David is and what, how nice it is to hear like a man talking about um their knowledge of periods and things like that um so yeah I I really really value everyone's response to that and it was very very um like it was quite a tough video to film in that particularly to edit as well because I get upset in the video and it was so hard watching myself back because I I live the period every, every month but like I sometimes forget that David has to sort of not put up with me because I don't mean it like that but like like he has to see me in that much of a state every month and it made me so upset like seeing how much pain I was in and seeing how upset I was and I think oh god like he has to go through that every month seeing me like that I know I'm I'm the one in pain and everything but yeah it sort of took me took me outside of the period for a bit because I was editing it when the period was over as well so I just thought oh god you poor bloody fall and <laughs> have to go through all this pain all the time and I've been reading a book recently called Unwell Women by Eleanor Cleghorn and there's a lot in there about like women sort of being silenced and I mentioned this in the video where I talk about like a, a few times when I've been to the doctors I've been told oh you, it shouldn't hurt that much or you're older now your period shouldn't be that painful and they are p painful still so yeah I'm definitely gonna I'm, I'm working harder to get my um to get my period pain sorted and I'm gonna go back to the doctors and things like that so yeah thank you so much if you commented or liked or shared the video very much and I will link it down below if you haven't watched it and you would like to watch it please do go ahead and then the last thing a joyous thing I wanted to end on is that me my mum and my sister went to see the uh uh, theatre performance of six um so for christmas 2019 me and my sister bought my mum tickets to see six which is a um a musical um or about the six wives of henry the eighth um and it's just a pop concert basically with really amazing fun songs and really amazing costumes and dance routines and an all-female band and just amazing um and yeah that was supposed to be last may but obviously got changed because of the pandemic got changed to this may didn't happen happened in june and we went to the marlowe theater in canterbury um and yeah it was just so much fun it was so amazing to be back in the theater the actors the, the performers themselves were just so happy to be there you could just see how happy they were everybody else was just so happy to be there they'd social distanced it so that if uh, like we were in a bubble me my mum and my sister sat together and then 
in between us and the next party they had some cutouts of um famous people so i was sat next to lem sissy um but they also had like all of the cast from six were in uh, like in cardboard cutouts they had the queen william shakespeare christopher marlowe it's the marlowe theater um and dame judy dench joe brand all sorts of different people um uh, on the cardboard cutouts and yeah it was just so fun to sort of sit and be entertained and i loved it i loved it i loved it now i've seen that they were touring uh, the the touring tour has uh, is is done in canterbury now which is where i went to um and the london show ends in august so i don't know if i'm going to get another opportunity to go but if any of you guys um have the opportunity to go please do go and see it, it was just so much fun honestly we just had the best time ever um and we just left feeling so such high spirits it's only a short little thing it's an hour and 20 minutes there's no interval you're just hard at it like party party time and they were all just amazing and yeah i just left with such a smile on my face the atmosphere when we left we were just so we were sky high with happiness and i've been listening to the song since and watching videos on youtube of the performances and stuff brilliant brilliant so yeah those are some of my recent favorites let me know what you've been up to let me know some of your recent favorites and um i'll see you all on friday for my reading vlog wrap-up style thing uh for this week